genocide for nothing. He didn't give himself that name, his opponents gave it to him. He's got his work cut out for him regardless. You know, many times a wrestler, I don't know if you know this, but I found this out through the years, will bandage up the arm that's not hurt just so the guy won't work on the other one. He'll work on the not hurt arm. That's great ring strategy here, especially from the champion. But Homicide comes into this matchup knowing, he knows that he doesn't have to beat Trent Acid. But if Trent Acid wants to become the new champion, he has to beat Homicide. Trent Acid, no stranger to the tactics that will be shown by Homicide during this match. And Homicide, no stranger to a good old fashioned street fight, so Trent Acid better watch his back. That's what I think it's gonna come down to. If this match stays in the ring, we're gonna get a great matchup and probably a new heavyweight champion. But if it spills to the outside, it doesn't look good for Trent Acid. Absolutely not. You sound like a an acid fan, actually, Mr. House. Uh, I know a lot about Trent Acid. I was there when he started out. He still started out down in Atlantic City at the Tropicana several years ago with Tommy Carlo, the pit bull. Mm -hmm. At that time, he was in this business already a few years. That was my debut. Since that time, we've both grown into what it's become today, into pro wrestling unplugged. Yeah, but it looks like Homicide, homicide is uh, favoring his right arm and shoulder a little bit. That might be at a disadvantage for him today. This is uh, Mr. House was saying that before. Sammy, I think uh, the two of them right now are almost nervous, wondering where to go here. Yeah, we got a count one elbow tie up now. Trent Pace, Homicide up in the back corner. Referee calling for a break. And we get a clean break, okay. See, Homicide is favoring that right shoulder. He must have been injured in a previous match and that might affect his performance here today. You notice the uh, crowd pretty well split between Homicide fans and Trent Acid fans. Roll over by Homicide, takes Acid down. Working on the, uh, on the left leg. Homicide trying to lock in that STF. Notice how both men are being very cautious at the beginning of this matchup. They don't want to make the first mistake. The first five minutes of any match are usually the most, usually the most telling as to who's going to have the advantage most times during that match. It's the feel out process. Right, either one of these two men, Hoover walks out of here with the title. We'll go one on one with Teddy Hart on March the 18th at the ECW Arena. Now you see, if I would, and that would be great, but if I were Trent Acid, I wouldn't have turned my back on Homicide at that point. Yeah, that's a big mistake there. Look at Trent Acid's paying for it as he dumped it to the outside. Homicide follows, shoots him into them guardrails. And like we talked about earlier, if this match stays on the outside, it doesn't look good for our international superstar. That's Homicide's hometown is outside that ring. Homicide now stalking him. Looks like he just bounced his head off those ring steps. Dumps him back in the ring. Tammy, you're awfully quiet. What are you thinking here? I'm just watching this match so intently. 
Homicide trying to get our attention here in the broadcast booth. He just yelled out, hey, Bill, looking at me like he was going to do something. That's right. Great, great presence of mind there by Homicide to turn the tides. Trent now trying to fight back. He has that choke hold applied in that corner. And he's going to have to break it or, or risk being disqualified. You cannot be so casual in a match. You've got to be focused on your opponent. Does anyone know why Homicide's shoulder is injured? I, no, Does I anyone don't. know the history of that injury? Absolutely not. I don't. Do you, Tammy? Uh, that's why I'm asking you, because I don't. I was notified that he was uh, injured in a matchup just a few weeks ago. Uh-oh. Blocked there. That suplex was blocked by Trent Asset. He guaranteed he was going to be here whether he was 50% or 100%. That's the kind of man he is. Well, he's 100% here, and so is Trent Acid. Trent and Acid now just now muscled him over with that suplex. Now went for a cover, hooked that leg, and picked up a two. It's still too early in the match to see really who's had the, uh, the advantage. Oh, oh. caught him with a big chop. As you can tell, Homicide is favoring that right arm now. Oh, went for a backdrop, but he caught him with a oh, kick. Oh, Ashley taking him down with an arm breaker right on that bad arm. That's right, and this might be the chance Trent Ash has been waiting for, that one mistake. Homicide put his head down, and Trent caught him with that boot. I feel guilty. Homicide was telling me to look at that, at what he was doing. Working on that arm again, working on that injury, trying to break it down even more. Yeah, he's using that bottle rope there. He's got to inflict some injury on Homicide, trying to wear the champion down. Trent Anson needs to get back in there. He needs to get back into the ring and try to weaken Homicide even more so, which he's doing. Caught him with that forearm now. Takes Homicide right off his feet. The fans here just... I think they just ejected somebody from the building. Absolutely thrilled to be here, but that one fan is out. Hey, just like there's rules in the ring, Mr. House, there's rules about being a fan, aren't there? Absolutely. It's not looking good right now for our champion. He's in a lot of pain back up in that corner. Trent Asset runs into that boot. He just caught him right in his face. Whips him across the ring into the corner. Oh! Runs right into a big boot. Big foot right to the face of Homicide. That had to hurt. And of course, you know, you gotta, Trent Asset's gotta watch out for that cop killer. That move from the 187. But Homicide, he has to watch out for that quick Yakuza kick. That has put the lights out of many great superstars in this business. Homicide whipping Acid into the ropes. Goes for a hip toss, and he reverses it into an abdominal stretch. It's a move you don't see too often in pro wrestling anymore. He's got that abdominal stretch problem. It is a classic submission move, and we're seeing it right here. Over this day and age, it's no longer a submission move. Wrestlers have been able to work their way out of it. Many of the great submission moves. Couple of stiff forearms to the back are no of longer Homicide. And Trent Ashen wants that belt. He's mocking him. Oh, pulls him to the outside. Now here we go. This is where it's Homicide's domain. This is where he's most comfortable, outside of the ring, in the streets. Homicide smashing Acid in the head, outside the ring. Again, this is a very even matchup. Uh -oh. I think he's way. going under the ring for something. Very dangerous situation now for Trent Ashen. Although, although even being in the ring with Homicide is very dangerous, but he's beating Homicide in his own game right here, smashing oh my him into the, the steel ring barrier. Right into those guardrails. Now Trent has, has to stay on top of him. She said it. Trent has it picking up Homicide, tossing him back in the ring. Which is the best thing to do, to weaken him, toss him back in, and go for a pin. I don't think he's going to come for cover as of yet, though. He's going to work him down a little bit more. Up, oh, he's motioning for something. Could it be a moonsault? Ashton up on the top rope. Oh. Go for the moonsault, and he misses. He misses the moonsault. He missed the moonsault. Homicide moved out of the way in the nick of time. Homicide was not out enough to be able not to see that move out of the way. That's right, very well scouted there by Homicide. Rolls out of the way, Trent has it hit stomach first on that canvas. This match is continued now with both men in a lot of pain. 
Homicide's angry now. Oh, big tackle. Homicide's got his game on for sure right now. Look at the rhythm of his body. How it's oh, trained. big elbow. Oh, that hurt Homicide, though. Took a little bit out of him himself. Reversal into the corner. Oh! And that was another big foot to the face by Homicide. Acid going back and another. for some more punishment. Big clothesline by Homicide. Absolutely He's devastated. still favoring that shoulder, though. Homicide going for the pin. It could be all over. No. Not yet. Kicks it. Homicide hammered him with that lariat, but still only picked up a two count. That was a bit of a fast count on the part of referee Hansen, though. Oh! Acid with a flying knee drop into Homicide. Acid he wasted too much time. Action. Oh, goes for a springboard cr crossbody. And I think Acid's trying too many Oh, that was a low blow by Homicide. Somebody called balls for that one. Oh! Belly to belly overhead there by Homicide. Both men looking almost totally exhausted. Would you agree? This is probably the most technically sound match we have on this show today. This is incredible. And homicide, again, not at 100%, but his body is trying to act like it's at 100%. We've got Homicide going back to the top now. Too slow, it gave Trent Acid too much time to recover. And now the advantage once again. Trent's going to follow him up. Homicide pushing Acid off as Acid was on the attack. A dive Oh, Acid backfired. That was Homicide. A... Looked like Trent Acid hit him with that reverse atomic drop as he was coming off that top turn. Just grazed his chin. And you know what? In the condition they're in right now, just grazing the chin is like a full chin blow. We've got Trent Acid calling for something out here. He's calling for a table. Doesn't he realize that this could be a waste of time? It's giving Homicide time to recover. I mean, absolutely. But right now, Homicide's in a lot of pain. He's holding that shoulder. Trent Acid trying to get a table over the barriers into the ring. Oh, he's trying to back up the first row, make some more extra room at ringside. Backing up the barrier as well. Remember, when you come to a Pro Wrestling Unplugged show, you're going to see all this incredible action going on here inside and outside the ring, and maybe outside the building. Okay, what's he trying to do? He's calling for some chairs as well. We've got a couple chairs and the table at ringside. Table, chairs, and this all leading to someone walking out of here with a Pro Wrestling Unplugged Heavyweight Championship. Homicide reverses. He drives Trent's head into the table. The two of them outside the ring. Our cameras Trent drives video Homicide's carefully head into the recording ring. all the action right here at Pro Wrestling Unplugged. Homicide's back in the ring. Oh, no, no, no. What's he doing? What is he doing? Oh, he went for a baseball slide. He missed. Oh! Smashing Trent Acid with a chair. It's still anybody's game here. Acid flipped up. Oh the my God! To the table. Big backdrop over the top rope and through a table. I can't believe it. This could be the end of Trent Acid as we know him today. And these people can't believe it. They can't believe it. We can't believe it. Did you see how high he came over that rope? So at the elevation from that back body drop. Now Trent Acid. Being dumped back into the ring. That's why I always say, be careful what you bring to the ring, because it may be used against you. Homicide with that leg, but still picked up a two and a half, and this match continues. Man, that was like jumping down the Grand Canyon and, and hitting, the, hitting the ground. What incredible elevation. But that hurt Homicide as well. Homicide, a lot of pain. Uh-oh. Like Homicide was going for a pedigree there. Oh, roaring elbow there by Acid. Oh, so Only close. Are you going to need more than a good blow to the face to take Homicide out at this point? 
fans all standing. This match is so incredibly exciting. Trent revving up again. Oh, Yakuza kick! Uh oh, Yakuza kick! This is it, one, two, we have a brand. No, we don't. Two and three quarters, and Trent Acid can't believe it. He can't believe it. Wonderful Willie thought he'd seen the end of Homicide as Pro Wrestling Unplugged champion. Here he goes for the kick again. Homicide ducks. Homicide with a punch to the face. Trent connects again. One, two, three. Wait a minute. 